do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after savings. And do not put all your eggs in one basket. These are the golden rules of savings and investment. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the hidden secrets of saving for the future using a piggy bank. These secrets are some of the things that helped me in time past. I feel compelled to share it with all those people that might be interested in these kind of videos. Welcome to my channel. This is James from JTG Unboxing. I'm mainly into tech and unboxing. And I also once in a while discuss finance related topics. I know some of you have plans this year. You've already drafted your plan for the year what you want to achieve this year your new year resolution and a whole lot but how do you achieve all these goals if you don't learn the habit of saving this year some people desire to buy a car some want to buy a land or build a house but how do you achieve all this if you don't learn the habit of saving how do you achieve that desired goal or that desired thing in which you want to achieve before the year ends or depending on the time limits in which you've given to yourself how do you achieve these goals a lot of people think piggy bank is just meant for children and not for adults so i'm going to show you some of the things and how you can use a piggy bank to achieve your goals that desired dream of what you want to achieve this year so stay tuned and watch till the end look at what these people have been able to achieve using the piggy bank and you can see these monies are not small money. There are so many money. People from all over the world have been able to save a whole lot of money using the piggy bank. And the piggy bank is actually not like your normal bank. A whole lot of people want to go to the bank to save, but at times they feel stressed, they feel tired and a whole lot. But with the piggy bank, it makes savings fun and you get to enjoy saving money because at times you save this money and you don't feel it so with the piggy bank you get to enjoy all these simple aspects of savings you just put the money into it and that's all and with that you'll be able to achieve any goals of your dream if you know you've been able to use the piggy bank please leave a comment let us know what you've been able to achieve using the piggy bank what were your target and what were you able to achieve using the piggy bank so please leave a comment so that we all get to know and learn more using the piggy bank. And what was your experience? What did you experience? What did you encounter while using the piggy bank? All this money you can see on your screen are money people were able to save using the piggy bank. And these are not small money as I once said. These are a whole lot of money. And sometimes we make wrong use of the money because we commonize them that these are coins these are small dollar euro pounds naira or cds these are little little money that we a whole lot of time look down on but we don't know that this little money in which we are looking down on can be able to help us to achieve our dreams and whatsoever which we desire to achieve so without further ado let's introduce our friend the piggy bank this is my piggy bank this is one of them and we also have this one. What I did was that I separated them. I put note on this one. I put coin on this one. I make sure I don't use less any amount of money, no matter how small it is. I make sure that I make good use of them. And sometimes we look down on so many things. We commonize a whole lot of things, not knowing the value of these things. And I'm going to share a story with you. When I was younger, I had one of my brother that used to save using the piggy bank. But what he did was that because he knows himself, he knew, he knew that if care is not taken, while using the piggy bank to save, whenever he needs money, he can easily break it. So what he was able to do was that he got a metal piggy bank, the one that is made of steel, and the amount where you can put the money was very small. So while he was saving, all through the year once he comes back from work he will just take a little money drop it and either put the rest in the bank or save the other one so when it got to a time like end of the year he wanted to open it so we needed to get a metal something to break the piggy bank so 
when we broke the period A bank, then I discovered something. The money that he was able to save just using the piggy bank, not using his account. His account was different, but the money he was able to save using the piggy bank was close to a millionaire. And with that, what he was able to achieve with that piggy bank was that what he did was that he also had some money with his in his bank account and he just added the money with the piggy bank and he was able to buy a car at the end of the year using just the piggy bank so it's important we make good use of this money and put this money into the piggy bank no matter how small the money is so we have to make sure we make good use of this money and i'm also going to be sharing these five tips that will help you to achieve your goal saving with the piggy bank the first one on the list is while using a piggy bank make sure you set a goal setting a goal will help you to achieve whatsoever you want to achieve using the piggy bank so it's important to have a goal or something you want to achieve using the piggy bank because the reason why i said it's very important having a goal setting a goal on what you want to achieve using the piggy bank is that most times at times we go broke we run out of cash and at times we will ask one or two people to assist us and sometimes we seems not to get the people that will assist us or lend us money so once you come to that stage whereby you are not disciplined and you needed money so bad if care is not taken that piggy bank will be the first thing on your mind and this has happened to me in time past I will tell you the truth. This has really happened to me. So it's better you have an ambition, you have a plan, a target, what you want to achieve using the piggy bank to store any amount of money, no matter how small it is. So having an aim, a motive, setting a goal is very important because if care is not taken, once the piggy bank comes to your mind, you will just go and break it. And once you break it, it will be difficult for you to save again once you have broken the piggy bank so it's very advisable not to break it but make sure you are determined you set a goal for yourself on what you want to achieve using the piggy bank and this will really help you to achieve your goal using the piggy bank to save it all depends on how long you want to save either on three month basis or six months or maybe one year basis depend on what your plan is for the money on the piggy bank so it's important you have a plan on what you want to do with the money because the plan or the ambition of what you want to achieve is what is going to sustain you during those times you'll be saving with the piggy bank if you are getting any value from this video make sure to click on the like and share this video to your friends your family or those that don't like saving using the piggy bank so that they can get to learn more know what are the secrets of saving with the piggy bank and also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel the next on the list is make saving fun with the piggy bank saving money is quite fun because there's no burden on your shoulder you just those little money which you are getting you just put it inside the piggy bank especially most especially those little little money which you are commonizing like the coins the cents or even dollars those or naira or cities it all depends no matter how small the denomination of the money is those little little money that at times you either give out or throw away at times you don't even know where you put it or your children will take it once you keep it all these money are very useful so because saving money with piggy bank is very easy at times you don't feel the burden of saving money so any little money which you have you just put into the piggy bank no matter how small it is you make sure you put those money inside the piggy bank and the more you save these little little monies the closer you are in achieving your dream goals so don't look down on any amount of money or don't commonize any amount in particular no matter how small the money is make sure to save it because if you don't save it at the end of the day you might not even be able to give account of this money which you are assuming to be little or of no value so it's important you keep this money into your piggy bank when putting this money on piggy bank do you know what you are doing you are achieving your dream goals unknowingly so thereby making savings fun it's not like a burden so with that you'll be able to achieve whatever in which you aim to achieve during the year celebrate 
milestones. Milestones are some of the problems that you came across. Maybe sometimes you needed money and you were you didn't break the piggy bank looking for money. So these are milestones in which you might have come across during the year saving using the piggy bank because I won't lie to you, it's very tempting at times when you needed money and there's no one to help you and it's only the piggy bank that is your only source, your only way in which you can get money to solve any problem in which you are going through. So once you are able to achieve these milestones, it's very important to celebrate and be proud of what you've been able to achieve. So it's very important to celebrate. Celebrating doesn't mean that you go and break the piggy bank. That's not what I mean. But deep down within you, be happy and celebrate the fact that yes, you've been able to achieve something using the piggy bank because a whole lot of people find it difficult saving with the piggy bank because it's very tempting when you're looking at your money. You can't open it. You can't make good use of it. You see all that. So if you have been able to stand all through this test and all through this why not not being tempted to break the piggy bank celebrate these milestones and be proud of yourself of what you've been able to achieve reaching the goal this is what i mean once you've been able to reach your goal let's say your plan was to save these money within six months let's say once you've been able to achieve your goal before the six months let's say in the fifth month or the fourth month or let's also assume that your plan was to save the money on the piggy bank for one year so that you can be able to use the money to buy that property or that gadget or that electronics or that phone, either iPhone, Samsung, no matter what the plan may be or a landed property or, a, or to build your house. Once you've been able to achieve that before the time appointed in which you plan, let's say as we just said, let's assume it's one year you wanted to do the savings. Once you've been able to achieve it, either on the seventh or eighth month, some people, what they will do is that they will break the piggy bank and start making, making use of the money. But I want to let you know something. Don't ever try it. Don't ever try to break the piggy bank once you've been able to achieve your aim or your goals before the set time. Once you've been able to achieve your goal before the set time. Let's assume you've been able to achieve it on the 10th month. Don't break the piggy bank. Do you know what you're going to do? Buy another piggy bank attached to the first one in which you're using. Just continue saving. Don't stop. Don't make any mistake to break the old one. Just buy another piggy bank and continue saving. If you are able to do this, believe me, you will thank me later for this advice because I've also got to a point whereby I was able to achieve these goals but at the end of the day i discovered that the money when i went to break this piggy bank i was unable to make good use of this money and at the end of the day what i discovered was that the money i was even aiming to achieve was not able to i wasn't able to meet up to that goal and i've already broke the piggy bank which i say is actually not advisable so it's better you go above your aim above your targets that's why i advise you get a different piggy bank and continue saving don't stop until you get to that targeted time that plan in which you that time in which you plan to bring the piggy bank let it be your targeted time in which you're going to stop the saving so don't stop the saving just keep on continue saving and you get to thank me later so it's important after reaching your goals to still continue saving don't stop because you've reach the time limits in which you plan to reach but make sure you just continue saving until the, you get to the set time in which you plan to open the piggy bank the fifth one learning the value of saving once you've been able to save up to the time in which you plan to save that's the targeted time let's say it's a year once you've been able to save up to a year do you know what you've just did you've just achieved something great you might not be able to understand what I'm saying, but what I mean is that a whole lot of people plan to save, but situations and a whole lot of problems get to hinder them from saving. But you that has been able to save up to the end of the year and you've been able to achieve these things, you've just unlocked something great, which is in you, something which is 
going to help you in the near future to achieve a whole lot of plans or a whole lot of goals in which you set to achieve. And with that, whenever you set a plan to achieve something in your life, and once you've been able to achieve this one, you can be able to achieve another one. So this is just what you've been able to unlock and what you've been able to achieve using the piggy bank, all thanks to the piggy bank that has actually helped you to do this saving. And not just the piggy bank, and all thanks to you also for being disciplined to have been able to save even to your targeted time. So you have to be proud and know that you've been able to learn something and achieve something for once in your life or maybe for more than a hundred times, but you've been able to achieve something. So these are the five secrets that have helped me in time past and I believe you'll find this information useful. Saving money doesn't have to be boring. With a piggy bank, it is a fun way to achieve your goals and reach your dreams. Take note of something concerning the piggy bank. The piggy bank is quite different from your normal bank. And these are the benefits in which you get using the piggy bank. The benefit is, first, there's no bank charges. You don't have to pay charges for using a piggy bank. You know staying in the queue, like when you go to bank to make your payments or do your transfer, you see that you stay in the queue. You don't need all that with the piggy bank. And there's no withdrawal charges, no SMS charges, and no documents needed to start using a piggy bank all you need to do is to just get a piggy vans a piggy all you need to do is just, oh God. all you need to do is to just get a piggy bank of your choice and depending on the shape the design anyone in which you know you are interested in just get them and start using them that's all that is needed for you to do there's something else i would like you to take note of which I know some people are not aware. While using the piggy bank, don't keep it in a public place where anybody can easily get access to it. It's very important you get to understand this. Don't keep the piggy bank somewhere very close to where people can easily see it and get access to it. Look for a hidden place or a place in which you know nobody easily gain access to. So that you know that whenever you want to put money there, it's only you that knows where it is and knows how to put it. But if you are a couple like I myself, I and my lovely wife, what we do is that she has her own, I have my own. So what she, what she does is that she puts her name at the top. So we both have a piggy bank. What she does is that she puts her name on the front of a piggy bank. Why mine? I don't put my name. So we can easily differentiate the both of the piggy bank, the one that belongs to her and the one that belongs to me. So, and we both put it on the same place. So just in case, maybe <laughs> I mistakenly want to, put, want to put money, I will now go and put the money in her own. You see, I'm the one losing. So you can see that she puts her name in her own. That's the one in which she's using. And mine is different, mine is plain there's no name on it. So that's how we're able to differentiate and be able to tell which one belongs to me and which one belongs to her. So these are some of the things in which you need to learn to do if you want to save with the piggy bank and you really, really have to be very disciplined using the piggy bank to save. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching my videos. If you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click on the like, share and subscribe to this channel i make tech related video as i once said and thank you for watching you can go through my other videos and have a blessed day